Evening everybody, it's me again, Jade. If you were just in the previous Pilates class, welcome back. This is Improvers, so it is uh, just a little bit harder, uh, but not much. It's the end of the day, we're not going to overdo it too much, are we? Um, I hope you're all well. Um, not enjoying this weather at all, but you know, I was freezing half an hour ago when I first started. I am very pleased to say I'm much, much warmer, almost good to heating down, <laughs> but I'm not going to. Um, make sure that you are warm enough, won't you? Make sure that you've got yourself, oh hello Megan, hello again Louise. <laughs> um, make sure you've got a decent space, make sure you've got a little drop of water. If you are doing this for the first time, keep yourself safe please. You do need to, if you've got any kind of health conditions, uh, make sure you've got the all clear from your doctor to say that you're fit to exercise. If you're a bit like me and you get aches and pains uh, because you're getting old, I don't like to admit that, but it's true, um, this is the best thing, honestly. Um, especially on cold days when you hold yourself all stiff and you know, tense and that, it's not good for you. Um, honestly, just doing half an hour, I feel like a different person. So after this half an hour, who knows how I'll feel, but please do join me, do what you can. If anything hurts, don't do it. Hello, Julie, I'm sure I just saw your name. And hello, Tracy and Isabel, lovely to see you. And thank you for your lovely comments as well. Right then, I'm gonna move back a bit, I'll see if I can shut the door. We did lose the uh, internet connection earlier. I don't know loads of people are having trouble with their internet um, at the moment. Hopefully, it won't happen again to us. Right then, so we need to start to get ourselves into the zone, feet apart, feet, knees and hips nicely in line, brace your legs, squeeze your tummy, squeeze your bottoms, relax your shoulders and your legs. And let's begin. Lovely deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more time, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Lovely, well done. Take the arms or just the shoulders back and back and back and back. Just getting those shoulders moving. Now go the other way and round. And you can let the body go a bit as well, so let the body go. That's it, round and round. Lovely. And then I just want you to swing from side to side. Try and keep the hips as still as you can. And turn from the waist. So you're just mobilising the spine. Couple more. Good. And now from here I want you to flex the spine. And reach back and stretch. Don't go too far. Remember we're just warming up. Flex. And stretch and flex and stretch. Should we do one more of these? Because we do feel good. And flex and reach back and stretch. Oh, lovely. Good. Well done. Okay. Bend your knees ever so slightly. But I want you to still be pulling up really tall through the body. Imagine you've got your piece of elastic attached to the ceiling, it's really, really stretched, keeping that lovely lifted feeling, and you're just gonna let your hips go from side to side, and side to side. Keep squeezing those tummies in, think of pulling your belly button towards your spine, and side to side. Try not to let your head wiggle about. Keep all of this nice and still. Good. Well done, come into the center. And now rock that pelvis forwards and back. And forwards and back. Good. And forwards and back. Just really loosen up the lower back. Pelvis. That's it. Good. Couple more. Forwards and back. And forwards and back. Good. Come into the centre. Pull up nice and tall. Are you ready for a little balance challenge? I'm going to keep it quite small because it's only a half hour class. Um, and we need to do some math work as well, don't we? So, 
what I want you to do is take both arms on full neck. You're then going to lift that leg. Remember, you can hold on to something if you need to. Lift that leg up. Pull up tall. Make sure you're dropped in this hip. Keep squeezing. And we're just going to take the leg to the front and in to the side and in to the back and in now rotate and take it out to the side hold it there for me swing your leg across and out and three and four good five and six and seven and eight good bring it back in take it to the front take the arms up and swing the leg backwards and forwards one and two and three and four and five and six and seven hold there bend it in we're going to do four little knee bends on that supporting leg rest your foot on the floor if you need a bit more stability bend and stretch and two and stretch good whoops i nearly went then three and stretch and four and stretch and rest. Well done, shake out. Lovely. So not only is this really good for your hips, you're building up strength on the leg that you're standing on, but the best bit is you are really working your core muscles. Don't worry if you're a little bit wobbly, it does get easier, I promise. Are we ready? Other side, both arms up, lift the leg, and off we go to the front and in to the side, keep those bodies tall, and in, to the back, and in, rotate, take it out to the side and swing that leg, one, and two, and three, good, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, bring it in, back to the front, extend it out, and swing that leg, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. Hold it there, bend it in. Rest it down if you need to, four little knee bends. And stretch, and two, and stretch, good. And three, and stretch, and four, and stretch, and rest. Well done. Do grab yourselves a drink if you want one. Okay, moving on, we're almost ready to go down onto the mat. I just want to do a few little squats with you, but we're also going to do some bends with the body nice and straight and pushing those legs out. If you're not sure um, exactly what I'm going on about, remember to watch first of all, but basically we're going to pulse in a squat position. So we're here, nice straight back, so both of these, but with your squats, you're hinging from the hips, you're pushing your bottom out. And we are just going to pulse one, two, all the way up to eight. You then straighten up, turn your legs out, so just face the front a minute, so that you're in this position, working those inner thighs and pulse there for eight. Okay? So I depending on what floor you're on and how you know slippy your mat is. Don't just sort of drag your feet in just in case you pull your knees. I kind of just like lift my toes up and swing my feet out and in like that. So just sort of pivoting on my heels. You want to look after those knees, of course. So feet just underneath or a little bit wider than your hips. Take yourselves into your squats and your pulse for one and two, three and four and five and six and seven and eight out one two and three and four good five six and seven and eight and a squat and two and three and four and five and six seven and eight and out good straight back three four and five and six and one more time one and two and three four and five and six seven and eight and two Three and four and five and six, seven and eight, lift up and open. Well done. Shake those legs out. Excellent. Are we ready for some mat work? We need to get there first of all though. So stand at the back of your mat, get ready to do a lovely slow Pilates roll down. I might stand this way actually. 
I'm being greedy today, I've got two mats. Just because I was moaning how cold I was, so I had to get both of my mats out today. Right then, so, Pilates roll down, nice and slowly, feet underneath those hips, tummies in, legs braced, beautiful relaxed spine as you go. So drop your head, relax your shoulders, roll down those spines, one vertebrae at a time. Let your arms just dangle nice and loosely. You can just give a little wiggle about it if you want to. Enjoy that lovely relaxed feel. That's it, good. Now start to roll yourselves back up, building that spine up one vertebrae at a time. All the way up. We're then going to roll the shoulders back. Take the arms up, face this way for this one, open to the V and ease yourselves back into that lovely stretch. Just imagine you looking up at that beautiful blue sky, it will be back. And then bring yourselves back up, well done, and let those arms float down. Right then, we're going to roll down again, but this time we're not coming back up. So, I'm going to move this way around again. Off we go, roll yourselves down, one vertebrae at a time, down, 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 down. You're then going to place your hands on the floor. If you need to, you can always bend your knees a little bit more. And then walk your hands out, 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 until they are underneath your shoulders and you can drop your hips down into your perfect plank. So it's only perfect if you haven't got your bottom sticking up in the air and if you're not in this position where you've dropped your back down and your hips are going down towards the floor. You've got to be strong. Hold it there but don't hold your breath. Please keep breathing. Head in line with your spine so open your necks up. Don't drop your chins down. Breathe through it. If you really want to of course you can come onto your knees do you need in plank? It's entirely up to you. Hold it there, hold it there. Go on, let's do eight more counts. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And push those hips up. Oh, feel that lovely stretch. Get those heels down. Arms out in front, nice straight back. Don't lift your shoulders up. Hold it for me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. Well done. And then back to your plank. Hold it there. That's it. Keep that body weight forwards. Hands under your shoulders. Hold it for me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Well done. Come down onto your knees, put your feet together. Knees apart, have a little stretch. Hold it there. Good, well done. Right, we are going to do our kneeling side plank. I'm gonna keep it as a kneeling side plank. Uh, just for now, because the side plank is really very challenging, and um, if I'm honest, I prefer to see you doing that. Um, but a kneeling side plank is lovely because it really, really works the hip and the thighs and the lower back. In fact, it just works the whole bottom. <laughs> I think it does anyway. So, this is how we go on all fours. Hands must be under your shoulders, otherwise you'll find it quite hard to balance once you turn, because that arm will be way out in front of you. So, body weight forwards, extend your leg out. Now, the knee that you're still kneeling on, you need to make sure that you do some adjusting as you turn the body, otherwise you're going to end up um, hurting your knee. So you need to move your foot, just like I've done, and then go onto, into a side position. So can you see how my hand's not all the way out there, it's right underneath me, and it's almost like 
a straight line go through my body. Then you're going to lift your leg up for them and place it down very lightly and down and lift and down. Well done. And again, lift and down. Can you do four more? Lift. You can really feel it working here, can't you? Lift and down. Lift and down. Hold it up for me. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Bring it down and roll yourself back over. Right then, we've got the other side to do. Are we ready? Stretch the leg out. Turn that foot as you rotate round. That lovely straight line going through your body. Are we ready to lift the leg? Off we go. Lift and down. And lift and down. And lift and down. And lift. Four more. And lift and down. And lift and down. And lift and down. Hold it up. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower it down and come back round onto all fours. Very, very well done. Quite a challenging one, isn't it? Let's do a nice release of the spine. Flex the back, chin on your chest. Bottom up, oh, not bottom up in the air, sorry. Your back up towards the ceiling. And now extend the spine, let your head come up, and now you can let your bottom go up. Hold it there. Lovely. And back into a neutral position. Good. Move yourselves into a seated position. Grab a little drink if you want to en route. Are you enjoying the music? I'm never quite sure. Um, well, you can hear the music. You'll have to comment, let me know. It's a uh, saying earlier it's an album that I, a CD that I found when I was having a little sort out. So it's back on the iPod now. Right then, rolling down and rolling back up. You can of course just do halfway if you prefer. If you can, all the way down and all the way back up. I will talk you through it as we're doing it. I'm also going to demonstrate. So if you're unsure as to what to do, please do. Listen and watch first of all. So feet, knees and hips want to be in line. You want to really be pulling up tall and sucking those tummies in as much as you possibly can. So if you've got enough room there. Okay, arms out in front, though you could rest them on your legs if you prefer. We are going to tilt the pelvis, curve the spine and roll ourselves down. Going through that lovely curved spine. Please, please, please don't go down with a straight back. Make a little print of your spine as you go down. Take the arms over your head and stretch out. And then we're going to reverse it now, so the arms come over, you lift your head, you lift your shoulders, and you peel yourselves off your mats as you come up. And then sit up tall. So it's really important that you don't go down like this flat backs. It's just not good for you. If you try and get up like that as well, you just can't get up. So you've got to make sure that you are curving the spine so that you can achieve the best rolling down and rolling up. Very, very good for those abdominal muscles. So arms out and off we go. Rolling down and down and down and down and down and down and stretch out. And then lift the head and shoulders. Peel yourselves off as you roll up and up and up and up and sit up tall. Let's go again. Roll down and down and down and down and down and down. And down. Arms over your head and lift it up. Peel yourselves off and peel and peel and up and up and up. And up. Shall we do it one more time? Yes, I can hear you all saying. Do you want to make it a little bit harder by taking your arms higher? Feel free to do so. Roll back 
stretch that leg up. Hold it there. Good. Well done. Bend your knee and stretch your abs. Other leg. Hold around the sheet. Draw that knee towards your shoulder. Keeping the other leg really straight. joining me as always I hope you feel nice and relaxed after that um, and just that little bit better for it as well uh, enjoy the rest of your evening won't you thank you as always to the Active Wellbeing Society for providing such a fantastic um, service throughout lockdown we will get back to normality eventually but meanwhile uh, this is doing the job for me and I hope it is for you as well thank you again see you all soon bye